A year ago today, around 7.30 p.m., a rain began to fall that would soon devastate our city and the surrounding region. I sometimes think about that first drop of rain. Maybe it fell on a sidewalk, maybe on a leaf of a tree, or a drop on a person's shoulder. How insignificant, how trivial, so much a part of our daily lives. Sure, we were expecting a good soaking that night, a hard rain, noticeable, but hardly significant. But the rain was heavy and relentless. A few short hours later, we faced a dangerous situation. By the morning, it was a state of emergency. And by the afternoon, the trauma of the event had been well established, and we continue to struggle with it even 12 months later. The truth of it is that we'll continue to struggle for the after effects for years to come. We all rightfully take great pride in how our community responded to this event. Emergency personnel, public works, collaboration between agencies, bipartisan political support across the state of Minnesota, volunteer initiatives, and most importantly, the neighbor to helping neighbor in a time of need. As mayor, I'm especially proud of our city employees, public service at its finest, from the emergency response of police, fire, and public works, but also from those services that you may not think about, finance, assessors, administration, planning, business development, our legal staff, engineering, maintenance, stormwater crews, street crews. Quite honestly, every employee of city government has been involved in some way and has made re flood recovery our highest priority over the last 12 months. In many ways, embodying our internal motto, own it, solve it, take pride. I want to pass along my personal thanks to those employees for their commitment to their work and to our city. Resiliency. It's a word that we almost instinctively use in the face of this sort of traumatic event. It's a great word. It's an important concept. It captures the spirit of what we know is needed and what we're ready to rally to in the moment. In many ways, the call to resiliency may be even more important today. During the hours and days following the flood, our community rallied as I had never seen it before. We were driven by a love for our city, by adrenaline, by answering the call for our neighborhoods and residents in need. In the moment, we spoke about resiliency, but we were fueled by passion. Now, one year later, as the passion has faded, the need for resiliency becomes critical. Resiliency is needed when the work gets difficult, complicated, and when we're all so sick and tired of the challenges that we simply wish it were over. That's exactly the time when our resiliency is tested, and it's exactly the time in which we take measure of our community. As a community, we're being tested. This event will always be remembered by the dramatic images, the car in the sinkhole on Skyline, Feisty the Steel on Grand Avenue, the response in the moment and the large-scale public works projects to fix the damage. But the greatest effect of the storm is the trauma that is less visible, less evident. It's the senior who's struggling to recover from a flooded basement. It's the stress on our infrastructure. The impact of flood recovery becoming a top priority for the city, nonprofits, and homeowners, who by making flood recovery a top priority have pushed other important projects to the sidelines. And in many ways, Duluth has become a community defined by our disaster and an impact on our collective psyche. The city of Duluth, when brought up in common conversation, it's always the flood that comes to mind, that people ask about. And despite our progress as a community, it is the flood and the damage and the trauma of that event that has defined us over the last 12 months. I have to admit, I look back at envy to my life and our operations on June 18, 2012 the day before the flood. We had such tremendous momentum as a community, great economic development projects. The city looked great after our early spring, and we had the capacity to be proactive and move an agenda. Today, we're a community that's struggling to deal with several massive challenges, and we're mid-narrative on our flood recovery efforts. We knew that 2013 would be a year of transition. We anticipated a difficult, even painful year of slogging through the work ahead of us. It has been that and worse. There are neighborhoods and residents still struggling. The reprioritization of city resources and a brutal winter have stressed our normal maintenance. And the challenges that have nothing to do with the flood seem to be growing and more pressing every day. As a community, there's a feeling of discontent, of frustration, of problems both flood-related and not that seem to dominate our attention and how we feel about our city. This is exactly the moment that our resiliency as a community is most important. This is an event that we'll never forget. 
Those images and dramatic stories will live on in our collective memory. But we also know that this is an event that is a, a test of our strength as a community. It's exactly at this moment when our patience, our generosity, and our resilience are being tested. It's exactly at this moment that we will determine the measure of, of the city of Duluth. A year from now, June 2014, I anticipate that we'll be about 90% recovered from the flood and we'll finally be able to shift our priorities back to the day-to-day -day operations of our city. It's at that moment when we'll assess our efforts and we'll assess the standing of our city. I would be heartbroken if we fix what is broken from the flood only to find ourselves burdened with the lingering after effects of negativity, pessimism, and a community that dwells on problems rather than fixes them. But that doesn't need to happen, and I don't think it will, but there is risk there, and the momentum is unfortunately heading in that direction. So whether or not you have a direct role in flood recovery efforts, we all have a role in improving our community during these challenging times. Fix up your home, volunteer in your neighborhood, pick up garbage on your walk, or lend a helping hand to a neighbor. Yes, you have every right to be frustrated. We have big challenges, ugly problems. And we continue to expend extraordinary resources on the damage from a 24-hour storm. And the never-ending winter that we, had, we just uh, witnessed stressed our infrastructure, our patience, and our good humor. But the work ahead is important. It's vital. It's going to define our city for a generation. Our attitude and the tone of our community dialogue does matter. Our commitment to solutions and improving our city will come from our initiative, our enthusiasm, and our confidence in Duluth's future. I ask for your patience, and I ask for your help. I love this city, and if you've made it this far in the message, I know that you do too. Thank you for your commitment to this community, to the city of Duluth. I greatly appreciate it.